The Northland College hockey team in Ashland, Wisconsin has had its fair share of success in the past. Now, while the team hits the ice each day, there's one player that has had to work even harder to score goals. But as Northern News Now's Mitchell Zimmerman found out, for him, it's all smooth as ice. The dream. Growing up, I always wanted to play hockey. It lives on here at the Bay Area Civic Center in Ashland, Wisconsin. I'm going to grow up, be a hockey player, I'm going to be a professional hockey player, and after that I'll just play hockey. So it's kind of fitting I'm playing hockey for school now. Ben Stewart grew up in Ohio, knowing hockey was in the cards. My two older brothers and my dad played also. And he's playing with a full deck. I'm the best in the family. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wearing number 10, he's now a lumberjack at Northland College, playing with 30 other guys. All my teammates were such good guys. Was, I wouldn't trade anything in the world to be, be with a different group of guys, all from different countries. His first year has been one for the record books, leading the team in scoring, all while doing it in a unique way. When I was born, I actually had amniotic band syndrome, where the umbilical cord wrapped around my right hand, preventing the growth of the rest of my arm. Stewart has had to adapt yeah. to rings that wouldn't change for him, so he made it work. I just wear an elbow pad, and I have a dry fit long sleeve t-shirt that is sewed closed where my arm ends that I fold over the elbow pad. I got it, I got it, I got it. It may on the surface seem Maybe. harder to score goals, but for Ben, it's smooth ice. <laughs> It's, it's good for the confidence. It's good for your just day-to-day -day ability to come to the ice. It's, it just makes it easier. Easier for your defense, like goalie Victor Willem Wenberg, when you have more points on the board to work with. I mean, as a goalie, you know, you get scored on quite a lot by him, but it's he's just one of the guys. Oh, oh, wait. oh, one of the guys. I all I see is player come down and shoot on me. I don't think about anything else than that. Yeah. You gotta say, it gives you a little motivation when you look at him, so. Guys! While he may pick his teammates up, he gives them a good check, too. Oh, it's awesome to have someone you, you know, he'll give you a little crap after practice for you letting in a goal, and y'all give him some crap for saving or whatever, so it's always fun. It's a fun game. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. I know, I know. He's Once not afraid to go out of his way and, and you know, make new friends, and he's a very charismatic guy, and um, he's, he's a great teammate. Shane Buckley is in his first year coaching the Lumberjacks hockey team. Once a player here himself, he recruited Ben for his agility. He's a, a player that's a little bit smaller in stature. He's not afraid to take guys to the net and go to the corners, which you need to be, you need to be able to do if you're successful, and just, um, yeah, he's very creative, very fast. And on a team of mostly freshmen, that speed sticks out. Oh. When you do find the freshmen who step in and are able to contribute right away, it's um, it's a huge it's a huge shot in the arm for for, for the guys that are here. Yeah, yeah. Sticking to the ice, Ben always has an eye on the goal, no matter what the game slides at him. Yeah, he's a little bit unique, but he's just, he's one of the guys, and he's um, hes done a really, really good job this year of stepping in and, and playing his game. Goggles on. It's Ben's game. Being able to skate, play hockey, do whatever. There's endless opportunities. Do until you don't. Here we go, boys. Good skate today. And we're just playing in it. Jackson, three! One, two, three! Yes. In Ashland, Mitchell Zimmerman, Northern News Now. If you'd like to watch Ben and the rest of the Lumberjacks hockey team on the ice, they play the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point in Ashland February 2nd. For more information, you can head to our website, northernnewsnow.com.